It all starts with the AlphaSmart Neo. This was a word processor, came out in the 2000s, uh, and it was kind of just intended for schools that couldn't afford computers. But they haven't been manufactured in a long time, so there's this aftermarket for them. People just kind of buy and sell and trade these old school pieces of school equipment. There's also the Pomera series. Uh, I've had DM30, awesome little device, but the problem is, again, expensive and the keyboard is really hard to get used to. So that's why I started the Zero Writer project. Uh, the idea was take a Raspberry Pi and a keyboard and a display, an e ink display, and somehow make it all work. And that's what I did. The problem is, it's not really the easiest thing to do, unless you are kind of crazy like me. And honestly, the whole time I was kind of thinking, is it really any better than the Alpha Smart Neo? Um, this is like a really cool, good device. And there's just something missing with these Raspberry Pi projects. So I decided I have to go back to the drawing board. And then I found Inkplate. I heard a lot about these guys and I decided to order one so I could kind of see for myself. They've got great uh, e-paper displays, uh, really cool technology underneath, uh, fast, powerful, uh, and open source. So I figured, why not? I ordered a board and to be honest, I didn't think it was gonna be a fit. I started running some of the demo code and playing around with different projects and I just, couldn't really get it up to the speed or refresh rate that I thought I needed. So I kind of gave up on it and uh, threw it in the drawer and kind of started working on other things. Turns out I was just kind of wrong. Uh, let me explain. So David, the founder at Soldered, the guys who make ink Inkplate, he reached out to me and he wanted to see if he could help with the project. Without getting super technical about it, I was kind of just approaching the problem the wrong way. And by rebuilding my Zero Writer application for Inkplate, I just kind of started working and working really well. Okay, so we're using Inkplate as the brain. Cool. But where do I plug in my keyboard? I, I don't see anywhere to plug in a key. Oh, God, I'm gonna have to make my own keyboard. Okay. Honestly, I was kind of expecting this. Um, the Zero Rider used this 40% keyboard from Vortex Core, but it's like expensive, hard to find, and most people just like a 60% keyboard. So I did what any keyboard designer would do, and I made a keyboard, hopped on PCBWA, and ordered it because they're good at making PCBs fast. They even do assembly, so if you have a cat who likes to eat all the small parts, they keep your cat safe. Thank you, PCB Way. And then I iterated and iterated and connected some things and iterated again. And eventually it got to a pretty cool, nice, thin keyboard. Anyway, as you can see from the enclosure and the keyboard, there's still a little bit of work left to do, but it's mostly there. It's almost all together. Zero Writer Inc. is instant on, so it's there as soon as you need it. It boots up immediately and you can just start typing. You don't have to fumble with any logins or loading times or anything like that. In fact, it'll just work right out of the box. You don't have to do any setup at all. You can just start writing. It has a built-in battery. Uh, you can kind of see the connector poking out of the side there because I haven't uh, set it into a permanent position yet. And while I don't think I can compete with the Alpha Smart Neo's uh, pretty incredible 700 hours of writing time, 
uh, you should be getting about 40 to 50 hours out of this and about a month of standby. It saves files to a built-in SD card. There's a menu system that lets you uh, switch between files, manage files, rename files, do all the basic stuff that you might need. As is, it's good enough to go for distraction-free writing, uh, but I'm looking at implementing some new features now that the software is kind of laid out. Uh, so things like basic editing features, uh, motivational writing features like uh, word counts and session timers and that kind of stuff. But here's an example of uh, just kind of mashing keys on the keyboard so you can see how fast it refreshes. Um, the way the keyboard's set up is you can press as many keys as you want, you won't lose any key presses. You can see I have down to just one key repeating individual key presses and everything kind of registers in a reasonable time. If you have any ideas or things that you'd love to see, uh, check out the links in the video. I uh, have surveys for collecting feedback and features from people and uh, you can join on Reddit or Discord and kind of discuss some cool stuff you'd like to see. This project is open source, which means other people can contribute code and get cool features going that maybe I don't know how. I'm not the best developer out there, so the only limit is your imagination. And memory. There's not a ton of memory. Oh yeah, and it runs at about five frames per second, uh, so keep that in mind. And that's Zero Writer Inc. My take on the Alpha Smart Neo. We've pre-launched on Crowd Supply, so if you're interested and kind of want to follow along, uh, you should subscribe on the Crowd Supply page. I'm going to link it in the description of this video. There's still lots of work to do, but I'm excited to be working with Inkplate and to get this out to you guys really soon. Fully assembled and ready to go. And hey, you should subscribe to YouTube as well because I'm going to be releasing all kinds of updates, uh, development logs, previews, all that good stuff. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, check out the other videos and thanks for watching.